Okay, welcome to our lecture today where we will be talking about atrial fibrillation. What is atrial fibrillation? Atrial fibrillation is basically fibrillatory waves that arise in the atrium, namely the left atrium. Long time ago, they were wondering how does this rhythm happen. And recently for the last, you can say, 10 to 15 years, they have discovered that around the pulmonary veins, that you see over here, one, two, and three, four. These areas tend to have those electrical waves starting in a chaotic fashion. Some of them go around, some of them start. And imagine once you have this chaotic um, electrical pulses going around, there is no regular rhythm at all. And once they reach the AV node, the AV node will conduct them if the AV node is ready. And this is the basic explanation to why AFib is irregular. Because you might have the wave starting here or here or here or here. Any of those pulmonary veins might have them. And then uh, one comes before the other. Whoever comes first will get conducted and then you might have another one just right afterward. Now, if the AV node is able to get the electricity as fast, this is what we call AFib with RVR. RVR means rapid ventricular rate. Patients will have a heart rate of more than 100, sometimes reaching 160, 170. And imagine, once the heart rate is in this fast rate, there will be no time for filling. So, when the heart pumps fast, there is no enough time for the heart to relax. If the heart cannot relax, then there is no preload. And if there is no preload, then the stroke volume will go down, and that will lead to decrease of cardiac output, decrease of blood pressure. In this case, the patient will be very sick and will end up being hypotensive, mental status change, and so on and so forth. And we will have to put the patient in the ICU. Now, let's get back to this. If you say, oh, I think we know where this AFib comes from. It comes from the pulmonary veins. Why don't we do something about it? Well, that's the basis of ablation therapy. So in ablation therapy, they said, since we think that those electrical waves start from here, physicians started um, ablating those electrical waves. So they said, okay, we'll do ablation around those, around those. Some of them do ablation around the four. Some of them do ablation every single uh, pulmonary vein by itself. Some even do lines like this or lines like that. So uh, AFib ablation has multiple uh, parts to it and it's above your scope, but it would be nice to at least know about it. If you ever look at an EKG and your attending asks you, how do I know that this is AFib? It's simple. AFib is irregularly irregular so you're gonna see like QRSs that come all the time and there is no relationship between every QRS and the other so if you really want to calculate the heart rate from those beats it's gonna different than this beat this this beat this beat this beat so you will say this looks like an irregularly irregular rhythm another way to figure out look at the every qrs and look before it if you see a p wave this is most likely not afib why is that remember that the origin of this afib are some kind of small waves that go through it is very different than the usual sinus rhythm where the beat starts over here and it goes around in a very rhythmic fashion in sinus rhythm, 
this electrical wave will create a very nice B wave. But in atrial fibrillation, those are like unique and single electrical activities that go through. This will not create a P wave. So there is no P wave. Look at before every QRS. There is no P wave over here. No P wave, no P wave, no P wave. So once you see no P waves and irregular rhythm, you can say that those two equal to AFib. And this is one of the rhythms that is very easily identifiable and you can get the question within less than three seconds. Thank you for watching.